from the culture of the American South, where roots hold stories, comes a natural deodorant inspired by generations of wisdom. Introducing Root Work, the all-natural foundational Black American-based deodorant infused with the magic of High John the Conqueror root. Our unique blend enriched with this legendary root offers 24-hour protection rooted in the power of nature. Embrace this deodorant that celebrates culture, history, and your well-being. Unlock the magic of root work today. Experience the pure essence of nature. Visit rootworkstyle.com and make the switch to a healthier cultural choice. Letting you guys get on in the room. Just waiting on the family to get on in. Just waiting on you guys to fall through. What is going on? How's everybody living? What's going on with y'all, man? How have you guys been doing this week? Shout out to everybody. Glad y'all tuning in. Doing a little tap in, waiting on everybody to gather in the room. What's up, nicety girl? I see you, dear. We got 666. Okay, my dude got the devil's name. The devil's numbers. Let me see what you got to say, 666. This dude coming up here with the evil numbers. 666, hop on. Let me get you in here early. And then we're going to get some more callers a little later. But um, 666, what's going on, man? What's up, brother Tariq? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. I just wanted to say uh, shout out to you. Shout out to everybody in the room. Uh, man, I just listened to that uh What's that? That uh, back and forth that you had with Cologne, you gave that, you gave him, oh. <laughs> you gave that man some work, <laughs> boy. Man, thank you, thank you so much. Let me tell people about that. Thank you. Yeah, you guys, I got a. Um, there was a little debate I had with Derek Cologne, Doctor Derek Cologne, the Latino revisionist. You know, he's very infamous for revising hip hop history. And uh, it was a cat named Red Supreme doing a live broadcast on YouTube, and then somebody sent me the link. I wasn't even planning on debating. I'm I'm still I'm still in Fiji right now, so I'm out here, you know, sitting under a damn tree, drinking some papaya juice, doing the island thing. And I just I was on my phone, and somebody sent me the link. And then I clicked the link and it was some brothers kind of going back and forth with Derek alone. And boy, Derek is, he's in there lying and you know how he does. Talking about all of these Puerto Rican b-boy crews that were foundational to hip hop. And then he started talking about how. link to call in. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and listen to this. Work and got some things clarified. So you guys can go check that out. Oh, man, hold on. Because right? I'm, I'm, while I'm talking, I hate when I'm talking and then I get a phone call and it messes up my damn stream. All right, but can y'all hear me good? If y'all can hear me good, everybody give me a thumbs up. If you guys can hear me good, give me a thumbs up. Cause I'm, I'm okay. There we go. Cause I hate when I'm doing a live and then one of my relatives call, and then that just throws the audio off sometimes. All right, thank you guys. But yeah, go to um my YouTube channel. Go to Tariq Radio to hear that. Um, it's like a thirty minute debate, and boy, Derek Cologne is explaining, copping, please. I'm telling him, hey man all of these b-boy crews that you're talking about that's puerto rican how come none of them dudes are on flyers none of these people are on anybody's flyer these are non-existent groups you're naming meaning non-factors they were insignificant they weren't really b-boy crews and he yeah i got flyers i got flyers and then 
you go to the comment section. Well, I, I misspoke. I don't have no flyers. You're damn right you don't have no flyers. None of those guys appear on anybody's flyers because they were non-factors. These were not b-boy crews. The bottom line, you cannot find any Puerto Rican pioneers of hip-hop. It doesn't exist. That's why they get into all of these theatrics and explaining. It don't exist. Then they have to start reaching for all of these things. Well, there was somebody who played a, they played a conga on a James Brown record or somebody had a, somebody ate an empanada at a recording studio. You know, they, it, it's, they have to dig and reach and find some kind of correlation. What's up, dear? My daughter in here. But it's a whole game. What you looking for, Mom? Snacks. Oh, we don't have in the kitchen. Everything is in the kitchen. Uh-huh. Ain't nothing here. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm live right now. My mother's come. Yeah, I'm doing a live right now. Yeah, my mother's in here with my daughter looking for some snacks. <laughs> We're gonna get her something in the kitchen. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, go to my YouTube channel and check that out. It's a very good debate. We get right to the point. We get right to the nitty gritty. I, I, I'm, I just wasn't going to sit up listening to no damn lies. I just wasn't going to do it. Um, also, the um, Bucci Bear episode is on my YouTube channel now. And everybody loves that. The new Bucci Bear episode, the full episode is on my YouTube channel. The people who are on um, FBA stream, they got to see it first. They got to see it weeks before everybody else. That's why y'all got to get FBA stream so y'all can get those early exclusives. The people on FBA stream saw it already weeks ago, damn near a month ago. So they saw it already, but now it's on YouTube. And it's very, very funny. Many people say that's the funniest episode. So, so check that out on YouTube. Uh, we're going to get some calls in a minute. I see a lot of people in the room. Um, I saw the term racism trending. Um, people are talking about racism now. There's this woman, um, Professor Gay, what's her name, over there at Harvard, right? You know, they, they're targeting her, this black woman, talking about plagiarism. And she was, I think, supporting Palestine. So they threw her under the anti-Semitic bag and... Um, they're really dogpiling on her, using her as the poster child for affirmative action. They're trying to say that she got in because of affirmative action, and they're talking about getting rid of the DEI, meaning diversity, equity, and inclusion. So they're using her as a proxy for black people. When they start using all of these little code words like critical race theory and DEI and affirmative action, They're using the black person as a proxy for black people, all right? So we understand that even, you know, whatever ideologies that that woman had that some of us may or may not agree with, we better understand when they're using a black person as a proxy for all of us. We gotta understand that. And that's why we still have to be on our square We got to be on our square when we're dealing with this anti-black racism. This is why it's so very important that we get an anti-black racism bill going so that anti-black racism is denounced the way Asian racism was denounced by the United States government. Anti-black racism has never been specifically denounced. It's very important that that thing is denounced because it becomes too normalized, even on Twitter. You can't say anything about other groups. You can't even hint at insulting them. As some of you know, if you hint at insulting another group, your page will get hit, you'll get a strike, you get a freeze on your page. But people can sit here and use every anti-black trope imaginable. There's nothing you can say about a black person that will get you banned on Twitter. You understand what I'm saying? You can say anything about a black person. You can use any epithet proudly and nothing is going to happen to you on no damn Twitter. So this whole thing where they want to normalize anti-black racism, it's up to us to say, hey, no, 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 no. We're not going to go for that. 
it's up to us to say, no, we have to condemn that. And that means we have to condemn a lot of the negative tropes that are promoted about us. One thing I, I didn't share and I'm not going to share. Did y'all see, and I know y'all saw it, the video of these little girls who's about six. Hell, some of them look around four or five. These girls were like four, five, six, seven. I mean, little girls doing like a karaoke where they're dancing and twerking to Sexy Red. They're dancing and twerking to Sexy Red. It's it's a very sad thing to, I, I won't even put it up on my thing, even though it'll go viral and it's it's all over the internet. I'm not, I'm not putting that up. I, I have daughters, I'm not putting that up. Um, that's another thing we gotta leave in 2023. This is a new year. That ratchet, um, fatherless home nonsense, cause that's some fatherless home nonsense. We gotta keep it a buck. That's what you see in fatherless ass homes. And whoever promoted that is a fatherless knucklehead. And here's the thing, because see, when that ratchetness goes on, the black men often get blamed for that. Like, oh, y'all didn't stay in the homes. Well, they have the, the operative word is home. The operative word is home. What the hell is a home? A home is somewhere where there's balance. We got to look at what a home is. When they say the man ain't in the home, uh, we, let's look at what a home is. A home is where there is balance between man, woman, and children. What we have are not homes. We have hubs. When we see a lot of this ratchet stuff, that's not in a home, that's in a hub. That's like in a containment unit, like a housing project, a section eight crib somewhere. It's not really a home. There's no balance in it. That's why everything is all in the air. Everything is chaotic. Ain't no man in there. There's no distinction between men and boys, adults and children. You understand? There's no distinction. There's no balance. So the children are running around here twerking like adults. The adults are running around here acting like big ass kids, dressing like kids, talking like kids. There's zero balance in a hub. And hubs are something that's contained and maintained by the white supremacists. That's what they like that chaotic hub lifestyle because that's plantation living. You understand you can control a hub better than a home. Those hubs are pooky manufacturing um, facilities. They're hood rat manufacturing facilities. They are going to crank out the next set of inmates that's needed for the prison industrial complex, which is the new plantation. These people know what they're doing. The usual suspects know exactly what they're doing. They know how to create a prison population. You understand what I'm saying? They're very scientific with this stuff. They understand how to run a plantation. The prisons are the new plantation. In order to feed these plantations, which are money-making endeavors, you have to crank out the right people and you have to set up the society so that it will crank out the right people. So that's why we see the children twerk into a sexy red. What do you think is gonna come out of a hub like that? You understand me? Now, every blue moon, you get some geniuses out of these hubs, but hey, every blue moon is every blue moon. We are phenomenal like that innately. But when people orchestrate a certain societal norm, we have to understand why they're orchestrating this stuff. That's filth seeing that type of stuff, children doing that. And, and family, and, and I'm not gonna put it just on the little girls, I, I see this stuff. And, yeah, and I'm not beating up on the sisters. I, I'm not beating up on y'all because I see dusty Negroes sitting up here getting these little six and seven year old boys to do these old um, degenerate rhymes. Have y'all seen these little videos with little black boys that are talking about robbing, shooting, and girls sucking this and girls sucking that. That ain't cute either. And I see Dusty Negro sitting up here promoting that stuff so that they can get some damn clout. You, you see, all of that stuff is going to have to go by the wayside.
you know, that stuff cannot be normalized. Adults helping to infuse young minds with ratchet, degenerate behavior. We got to stop that nonsense. We got to call these other so-called adults out for doing that. Real heavy stuff. We're going to get some calls in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lot of y'all in here. Shout out to everybody in here. Shout out to Nikki. Shout out to Sir Major. Shout out to D. We're going to get some calls in a minute. Y'all hang tight. Did y'all see this um, post of this podcaster? And then, you know what? You got a lot of these podcasters out here, a lot of matethas, who say a bunch of dumbass stuff when they try to speak on our culture. And it's like, sometimes just sit down and shut up if you don't know the culture. There's some woman who's clearly a tether was talking about Michael Jackson. She made a a post on her podcast and I don't know what the name of her podcast was, but you can tell this was a tether. She was like, what if, um, would dark skin Michael Jackson be as successful as light skin Michael Jackson because of the colorism in black society? Would, 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 uh, would dark skin Michael Jackson be a global for not global superstar? And people had to remind her, ma'am, the dark skin Michael was a global superstar. Michael didn't, his skin didn't lighten up until the, the bad music video and the bad record in 87. Ain't that when bad came out? Bad came out in 87. That's when Michael, the, the depigment thing started really going down. So Michael was already a global superstar all throughout Thriller. Dark skin Michael, brown skin Michael, he was already a superstar. Hell, Michael was a superstar in the early 70s. Michael Jackson, dark skin, big ass nose, big ass Afro Michael Jackson was a international superstar. He's been a superstar all of his life. So they're trying to infuse that colorism conversation into our culture. No, 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 no. And you can, this is why I say a lot of these people who are tethers, they shouldn't speak on this because they clearly didn't grow up in an FBA household. So they didn't know that. If you didn't grow up in an FBA household, you don't understand that Michael was already on top of this shit. He was, him and the Jacksons were superstars. We grew up on those guys. We knew about the Jackson 5 cartoon. They were, we, we know that. They, they were superstars their whole lives. But if you don't come from this culture, you wouldn't know that. So they, I, I really wish people don't speak on our culture like that. I really wish they don't. But I digress. Now let me get some of these calls in here. Let's get, um, do not let's get do not what's up do not and then we'll get kick off get do not kick off and then we'll get shade i do not you want to hop on i'm all right i guess we get shay what's up shay Hi. Sorry, I didn't know if you were going to let Ace go first. <laughs> but go ahead, ma'am. I got you. Go ahead. What's on your mind, Shay? Um, a couple of questions. So first, I wanted to ask you on just some like relevant movie stuff. I know you were saying a few weeks ago you you um were going to speak on um, uh, Flowers of the Moon, the one with the, about the Indian storyline. Yeah, and I, also, got, I, I didn't also, get to see it yet. But yeah, did go ahead. you watch it yet? No, okay. Not yet. You really have to watch it, Terry, because it really shows the deviousness like they're so devious it's crazy but um but you watch that first and then you can speak on it but um i wanted to ask you about color purple you know they're doing this whole you know um extravaganza for for color purple and did you see what boosie said recently about it how he was talking about he walked out the theater and stuff did you did you see that yeah i saw something where he said it was kind of some rainbow stuff going on yeah he said he walked out the theater with his child and like there was another couple that walked out the theater with him because of the you know he's like they're promoting the the agenda heavy and whatnot you can speak on that after but I was, real quick, my main topic, every time I talk to you, I ask you this, and I'm going to ask you again. <laughs> um, yeah. Because, you know, the election's coming up, so I still, I'm still on my 
you know, Cornell West tip. So I want to ask you about that. <laughs> and, you know, if you have any more insight, that's all. You don't have to, you know, go all out. Well, you yeah. have any more insight. Okay. If, if Cornell is talking about getting us some reparations checks, then I'll, I'll take a listen to what Cornell has to say. I haven't heard anything about no reparations checks from Cornell yet. So I don't know. I'm not really. God damn it. Yeah, I'm not listening to anybody unless they're talking about reparations checks. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me text my lady. She's hold on. Hold on. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm just texting. Bear with me one second because I hate they don't be doing shit when I'm just up here chilling. The minute I go on live, they want to start hitting my phone up. All right. Can y'all hear me now? Give me the thumbs up. I hate when they call me and then they mess my phone line up. Give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me. Are we good? All right. So June, are you, um, I, I added you on, brother. All right, do not. Okay. All right, let's try you one more time. I'm not going to keep. Y'all got to have your phone lines together. Do not. You want to try it again? Then we're going to get Ace. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, brother. Sorry about that earlier. I was purchasing something when you uh, put me on. But, um, no doubt. Yeah, man, I, I just want to say, you know, thank you. You know, and I, I know people give me your flowers all the time, man. But I was one of those. I, I am FBA, by the way. But, you know, I was, I was kind of you know, on the fence. I, I'm a person, bro. I understand that white supremacy exists. You know what I'm saying? I, I experience it all the time. I grew up in Baltimore City. And you know how this city gets down. Yo, you know? Yep. Yeah, but I, I was one of those people, you know, especially being like an artist, you know, and, and I, I just want everyone to kind of just, you know, find a, a medium ground. But what I'm realizing, bro, it ain't no medium. You know, you, you see all these racists on Twitter. You see what's going on in the world. And we are truly alone, bro. Yeah. You know? Yes, so indeed. I just, yeah, I just wanted to get your flowers, man. That's all. Thank you. Know. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. Let's get um Caveman. Caveman 3000 BC. Hop on. Yeah, what's going on, brother? We in here. What's going on, Mr. Caveman? How are you? I'm fine. Good, brother. How you doing? I'm good. What is on your mind, sir? I just want to say I just uh, finished watching your video with uh, you and uh, good brother uh, Colin, yeah. and, <laughs> and I, I really like how you piece in together. You you're doing the research, the work, the history, where hip hop came from, going back to the 1920s, going back to beating on our chests and being in rhythm. I really like how you're bringing that into light because what I don't like is all of these tethers and this Hispanic community trying to act like they had such an impact on black culture. When Spanish people, especially in New York, I'm from Brooklyn, especially mm -hmm. from New York, all these Spanish people use the N-word more than we do. They are some of the most racist people, and but they're racist behind the scenes, but when it comes to the world trying to give the black community our flowers, here come all of the others with their hand out. And I really like how you keep your knee on their neck, R.I.P. But I really like how you keep them in check. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, man, y'all got to go listen to that debate with me and um, Dr. Cologne. Um, yeah, I, I just have so little patience for that lying I, I, we just got to shut it down, man. We got to shut it all the way down real quick. What's up, um, Kip? Yo, Tariq. What's up, Kip? It's Ace. Oh, it's Ace. Okay. What's going on, Ace? Um, like, do you not said, I'll, I'll give you your, your flowers. You definitely kick-started the whole conscious movement back in, like, 2012, 2013 or whatever. Mm -hmm. With the Black Lives Matter movement or whatever, right? Um, hidden colors and stuff. I'll give you your props. That definitely got me conscious and stuff. Yes, but but back then, I remember you were part of the whole melanoid nation, melanoid yeah. nation. So you were more or less like Pan African. You had the Pan African flag, the red, red, black, and green. When did I have the red, so black, and green? 
I don't know when did I have a red, black, and green flag. You, the whole melanoid nation thing that you had going on back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that so, wasn't that wasn't like the red, black, and green. But you know, but okay, I didn't have a red, black, and green flag. But yeah, but, melanoid. But even with hidden colors, you were or you were you were more or less on a pan African type of vibe. Do you know what I'm saying? No, just um, giving props to black people globally, just to acknowledge that was just acknowledging the. Um, yeah, but what you need to stop globe. doing is generalizing because I'm African. I'm from Southern Africa. I'm from Zambia. I'm from yeah. more or less South Africa. Right. So what you need to stop doing is generalizing the continent. Yes, we have coons out there who are so far gone or whatever. Do you know what I mean? But there's a lot of riders out there. You understand? So mm -hmm. that type of stuff that you're talking about that, oh, yeah, Africans, this, we need to delineate and all of this. We're all one How family. We generalize I don't. It? How will we generalize it? You do How? generalize. How? You more or less say, look, you you have a stance where you kind of think black Americans are better than Africans or Caribbeans to the point where you talk. Let's, let's slow it down because you've told about three lies on here. And every time I ask you about your lie, you change up. First, I'm going to give you three lies. Then we're going to stop. Let's slow it down. First, you start talking about, I have a pan-African flag. I've never waved a pan-African flag. I don't know. Uh, second, you said, I generalize Africans. No, I don't. And then I ask how, and you're like, oh, and then you change the subject. All right? And then you just told another lie. Okay, so we can't do that. If you say something, you're going to have to elaborate and prove what you said. Don't sit here and make up stuff because now and you said, I think that black Americans are better than such and such groups. I've never said that either. All right. So what you're doing, you're being a stereotype. You're saying don't generalize, but the stereotype, uh, hold on, hold let on, me I'm about, get on, I'm about to get you. The stereotype is that a lot of African people because of their circumstances, have to lie and scheme and be manipulative and deceptive in order to get a, a leg up in life. That's the stereotype. And you're not helping the stereotype by being deceptive. So you better be very right and exact with your words, sir. All right? Oh, you're good. I'll give you that. You're good. All right. Let's be, <laughs> let's be right and exact with the words. Nah, all right. The melanoid Don't nation, talk, bro. Man. All right. Let's not talk about generalizing and then you're doing the same shit that people accuse y'all of. So you're doing this to yourself. I'm trying to give you an opportunity to be right and exact with whatever you say. Now, Melanoid Nation, go. What do you got to say about that? Melanoid Nation. I think it was the Million, um, Mil Million Man March um, back in D.C. a couple of years ago. Farrakhan was there. Uh -huh. You was there. You were pushing Melanoid Nation. You had the flag. I remember the pictures that you took. The flag was red, black, and green, same as a Pan-African flag. You had that. That was the whole theme, Melanoid Nation. And people can find that oh, out by Googling the it. The Melanoid Nation, because we do have a Melanoid Nation flag. It's white. It's white and black. But where's this bro, red, black, and green bro, flag you had, talking about? You were, pushing, you were pushing the red, black, and green back in the days. I remember that clearly because I was what, following you very clear from Hidden Colors or whatever. You understand? What, what flag did you see me pushing? I want, Red, black, and green. You were Where pushing red, black, and green. Because like, there should be a photograph of it. Where's the picture of it? Bro, all right. Look. Obviously, I can't get that right now, but there is a photo of that. So, if you find a picture of me holding a red, black, and green flag, I will send you some complimentary Red Cross rice to Zambia. Nigga, nigga I'm from Zambia, not Zambia. Zambia, Southern Africa. That's what I said, Zambia. I know where the Red Cross rice goes. I said that. You show me. Nah, me we a don't photo. get. We don't get Red Cross aid oh, out there. We're yes pretty fine. Yes, no, you we do. Don't. No, um, we don't. Sally Struthers is out there right now. So what this else is nigga. on your mind? What this else is nigga. on your mind? All right, all right. The fact that you say you the, the fact that I said obviously you think black Americans are better than Africans, you insinuate by saying things like, Oh, let me see your hairline, let me see this, let me see that, oh, and then you call us on Butu making fun of our names and our, our African names and all of that. Because oh, you guys have slave names, right? You guys have Smith, Brown, and all of this. Yeah, so you think you're better than us, right? That's no. another thing. You make fun, you do make fun of Africans with their names. Don't get, don't come on. That's no, no, well, yeah. You get roasted. Yes, you get roasted. Just yeah, like, yeah. You roast us because of our name, because our names. You feel, you feel like our names. That's an that's that's something embarrassing to you. Do you know no, what I mean? Umbutu and 
whatever whatever it's else you may call because up. see because y'all got all types of names about us the akatas jadirs abids y'all got no all those are west west africans oh, say that and uh, the and somalis east africa, say that in east africa they say right. jadirs yes somali oh. yes yeah, somali right. say that yes yeah. right don't put it just on yeah. the west africans okay they got uh, i'm not from west names. africa i'm not from i'm not from east africa i'm, I from, know I'm from southern africa Right. Everybody tries to play hot potato when it comes to the little janky names. But I don't, we do that with folks who come in the room and try to be slick. If they want to roast, you're going to get roasted. That's part of our culture of roasting. So no, that's not about nah, being that whole, that's part of our culture. No, I'm not going for that because basically at the end of the day, you think your names are cool and our names are not cool. Because our names are more African. Our names are, mm. oh, you're from the village. Things like that. Oh, we've got white slave names and all that. So we're better than you. That's more or less what you think. That's a projection. That's, 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 that's the type that's of angle that you're playing. No, 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 no. That's no, one of these. Nigga. That's a weird. No, no, Baba Tunde. All right, calm no. down. Baba Tunde, calm down. Let's see. That's a projection because y'all about white. Why are you muting me? Baba Tunde is Nigerian. Baba, 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 Baba Tunde, you're not going to babble now. Come on now. You don't you don't get to babble. This is not the immigration office where you get to just babble for a green card. This is this is my space. There's going to be some order. You're not just going to run from in. Southern Africa, not you're, Nigeria. You're, you're not just going to run in and just grab hands of Joloff and just run out. No, 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 no. It's not that kind of space. You're going to have to slow down and listen. This is that kind of space. There's order here. There's order. You're not just going to run in with your camel, eat up and drink up everything and run out. No, 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 no. There's got to be order. Um, that's that's a weird projection because you guys value whiteness. We never said our names are cool because they're white. We, we don't think like that. We don't think like that, sir. That's a weird projection, sir. Y'all just get roasted. Y'all come in and try to say something slick and part of foundational black American culture is roasting that ass and, and, and getting you straight and getting you in line so that we can start off like we're supposed to start off like you got some sense. That's all that is. It's called straightening. We, we give y'all some straightening, right? All right, look, let me tell you one thing. You call me Baba Tunde. That's a Nigerian name. Right. I'm from the south. I don't know right. anything about Babatunde. Right. You started talking about you, camels. You're, camels you're, are in the Sahara or Eastern Africa or whatever. Right. I'm okay. nowhere near there, so I don't have nothing to do with camels. You understand? There you go. All, all yeah. right. That's, there you go. All right. Yeah. So now, yeah, then, now, yeah, that, yeah. now that we now we know you don't have a camel, and now we know that you're not in West Africa. Nah, Africa's. because that's it, how I know it, you generalize the whole continent. You talk about camels, uh, Babatunde, Jolof. We don't eat Jolof in Southern uh, Africa. We don't uh, eat plantains. We don't do none of that. Do you know what I mean? But you probably have an issue with Nigerians, probably. I don't. That, Niger I don't have an issue yeah. with anybody, but everybody can get it. Because y'all generalize us all the time. Y'all be talking we about don't. crap. We don't. Crap we value you guys. You guys started hip-hop, all of that. Right. Even you guys but brought listen, but, to but, the but, world. But, but you gotta, every, you, you're going to get a little roasting. When y'all come in the room and you say something slick, you're going to get a little roasting. That's all it is. You're going to get a little roasting. That's all that is. It is. So, yeah, nobody's beating up on you. Uh, nobody thinks that they're better. See, y'all don't know how to roast. That's the problem, y'all. Because y'all don't... Y yeah, no, one's, you, no one's talking about roasting. That's that's all. We're, we're just roasting you, dude. Y'all take everything. Oh, everything is... Nigga, no one's talking about roasting. I'm talking about <laughs> unity over here. I'm not talking about... Yo, wait, okay, you ain't talking about unity with all them damn tribal groups over there. Let's not go there, all right? It ain't about no unity. Y'all got so many different tribal groups and tribal You come up with the same talking points every because single time. Because it's the truth. It's the truth, sir. Isn't it? Right? Hakmeed. I'm here. Hakmeed. Hakmeed Hakmeed. Nigga, you muted me. Can you stop muting me? I, I you mute. You, you drop some injera on your phone, Hakmi. Injera is from Ethiopia. I'm not from Ethiopia. Close enough. Close enough. Okay. No, but, not close. But, I'm from but, the south. Yes. Do you? Um, uh, you're a pretty smart man, right? You should know your geography of the continent. You should know that, and you know different cultures. You talk about your culture, FBA. We have different cultures in Africa. Right. Different countries eat yeah, the exactly. Tonga, don't y'all have the Tonga? Egg. The Chua. Bimba, Lozi, don't y'all got all the? Uh, oh, how tribes? the hell do you? How do you? How do you know them? Try? Yeah, you're on do, Google right now. No, I'm, you know, and not only that, I'm in, I'm in, um, right now. I'm in, um, Fiji right now, and they have a story about their African origin here, and I think they said their African origin starts in Tonga, 
and they got on boats and came out here thousands of years ago. So the, the Fijians here, they, they, they told me a story about them coming from, I want to say it was Tonga, one of them, them names that starts with a T. But yeah, I know about all the tribal groups. Y'all got a bunch of tribal groups over there in Zambia, right? Yes, yes, all yes, right. we so do. Like, and my, my, my the how tribe, y'all not you unified? Mentioned Lozi. How come they were? Well, you mentioned the tribe Lozi, right? You mentioned the tribe Lozi. So they ran away from Shaka Zulu from South Africa. They went up right. to Zambia because Shaka, Shaka Zulu was conquering basically the whole of Southern Africa. And so that tribe Lozi in Western Zambia. They speak the same languages south the the tribes in South Africa. You see, like they speak the same languages, even though the countries are like one country apart or whatever. But it's the same languages. Right. So yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. right. But again, so there's a lot of tribal differences, and I wish the brothers and sisters in the continent will kind of charge that to the game and get on the same page, because I think that's one thing that has kept everything. That is true because my mother's tribe hates my father's tribe. That right. Is true. Right. That yeah, that is true. My mother, yeah. my mother even told me stay away from my father's the the the, the father side of the family. Right, and then what happens yeah. is, and, and here's the problem, brother Ace. Y'all come over here with that same thing. Let's stay away from the Akatas. Stay away from the y'all. Bring that, and we feel it. Y'all think we don't, but we feel that tribal shit that y'all do. And that's where the roasting comes in. We say, hey, you know, y'all got to leave that shit somewhere else. Don't bring that among us. So that's why we have to start checking y'all on that stuff. You feel me? All right, but how can how can Africans what what steps can Africans take to you know what I mean get away from that type of thinking? You know what I mean the whole tribalism because you, you guys separate and you you need to you need to understand Black Americans. You guys set the trends. You understand. So if you right. guys delineate and all of that, you guys you guys set the trends with our independence back in the days and all of that Kwame Nkrumah and all of that. You know what I mean? So if you guys separate. That's just, it's just divisive and it's going to get nowhere. It's just divide and conquer. You understand? That's all of this is divide and conquer. So what I'm saying is we need to stop this whole, I'm FBA, you're African, stay there. Yeah, yeah, we have coons. You no, why FBA should, no, 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 wait, no, no, why should you got we? Coons, you got coons that are FBA, we got coons that are African. No, 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 Why should we as foundational black Americans <laughs> ignore our unique lineage? We have a lineage that you're, nobody... You're, you're not, you're not really, bro, you're, you're not American. You're Africans. You are Africans and you know you're Africans. You can keep talking, you can keep banging on about, oh, we were here before slavery, this and this. But you're Africans. Everyone so, knows that. Okay. So what African nation is bringing us in with no strings attached? Well, African nation is bringing you in with no strings attached. You need to start some sort of political group or whatever. Why well, I got to do with... that if I'm African? Why, why nigga, I got to do all that? Obviously, nigga, you're, you're all the way in America. You need to start some sort of campaign to say, to holler at the mother continent, oh, this and this, do you know if what I mean? We mama, wanna... if, if, I, if it's my mama, I ain't got to have a campaign for my you mama. You're always banging on about Ghana. God, you tried Ghana. The only country you tried is Ghana to go no, back That's to. not true. That ain't true. That is true. You're always banging on about Ghana. How that's Ghana always try and tax you niggas when you go back and they know. That's not true. I done went to South Africa. I done went to Zimbabwe hollering at them. Ain't nobody biting on giving us dual citizenship or nothing. We got to go over there with a bag. So if we so African, what African nation is welcoming us with open arms without a whole bunch of strings attached? Huh? Well, you need to find a way to hold out the Polish well, Remember, Y'all, yeah, no, remember what I'm Malcolm found, was doing. I'm a, I'm, what a Mal foundation, I'm a foundational black American, dude. I am a foundational black American. My lineage goes back to this land thousands of years i go to the lineage of the people who built this nation from nothing uh, <laughs> what was malcolm x doing before he died bro sir Explain i don't know what crowd. you're talking about my Mal lineage goes malcolm my Hull lineage my lineage goes to the people who built this nation from the ground up there was no united states until my family Your built it excuse me I'm what? You keep muting me, bro. Stop muting me, cuz. Talk me. I'm not muting you. I'm Hack a foundation. I'm, 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 I'm a foundational black American. Bro, bro. All I'm saying is look, 
we need to stop this whole divide and conquer tactic. That is not divisive. Bro, me, it is divisive bro. me acknowledging my lineage as a foundational black American is divisive? How so? What's the fact? What's what? I don't have you muted, dude. It's your phone. Bro, I was muted. What's a foundational black American, please? Can you define that's a, that? Please? A non-immigrant over here. And that's us. We're the only non-immigrants. In America, right? Because I live America. in the UK. Yeah, in I live America, in the UK. No, no. no, there's no foundational black American in the UK. That doesn't no, make I'm sense. No, I'm not talking about there's a foundational black what American What are you talking about? No, I'm saying that's in America, right? You're a non-immigrant yeah, non-immigrant in America. Of, in America. The United States, the only non-immigrant. Yes. Nobody in my family immigrated here. None. Not one. You we kind of it from the mud. because you were brought over on ships. Slavery. Uh, sir, every, sir, everybody came here on Brazil, a ship. Um, Brazil, U.S., Jamaica, all of them. Western Hemisphere. There is no... Sir, no every, sir everybody came here on a boat at one point. So, Even so the you, Asiatic you, red natives came here from the Bering Straits or on a boat somewhere thousands of years ago the black aboriginals came here on but some of your followers actually believe that they're 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 red Nate red indians so that's the I thing know you talk to them. Chop. i know that there were black aboriginal people here who mixed in with the african people and where did over. they come from and, and, where did they come from but everybody came from africa one no place. no no you keep yeah you no 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 that's another no no no, no what you do you tell white white you tell white supremacists that oh yeah you're no Africa because no no oh, y'all want us nah. no 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 because no y'all want us to claim Africa from one thousand years ago where where they come from a thousand years ago hell everybody came from Africa at one point but there's an ethnogenesis at one point the Fijians I'm in Fiji they acknowledge that they came from Africa but they're Fijians now they had an ethnogenesis sir they black as hell but they don't Africa. deny the fact that they're African and say Me oh neither. we have our own no no they yes, have, a, do. They have they have no 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 I'm how are you gonna tell me what I deny. These people acknowledge that they have African lineage, but they are Fijian people. I have an African lineage. I have African DNA, but I'm a foundational black American. You see how that works? You have, yeah, lineage, not just lineage, your characteristics are African, your hair, your nose, your Sir, skin, your I lips, not, everything, I, your I face. I insult to that. I don't have a Zambian hairline. I'm sorry. My hairline is FBA. I take offense to that. Nigga, my hairline is straight. We got no, 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 no. That's where I draw the line, sir. That is not true. Our hairlines are way different. We can tell. Okay. You're talking about Somalis and all the East Africans. Uh, like, I I just, you don't you put everything. it on the don't you put it on the Somalis? There's a lot of janky hairlines that them hairlines are a little different somewhere. Dude, we know who's who. All right. We can tell. Just like when I go to Africa, they can tell that I'm a foundational Black American. They can tell. No, it's not about hairlines. It's the fact that you're from a you're where we're probably from a third world country. You're in first world. You have all these skincare routines, all this hair products, all that type Dude, of shit. We can so it tell. helps with the appearance. Um, man, it helps, y'all listen, y'all, y'all with... think listen, no, 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 because see, y'all think y'all blend in more than you do. We can tell when you come over, even when you're dressing in in all of the the fly clothes or whatever. We we can see hairlines, we can see teeth, and we, we can tell. We can say, uh, brother, what part of East Africa are you from? We can tell. And there's nothing wrong with that. We can tell, just like y'all can tell with us. When I dress, I, I, I go over there and I have on the, the the like in Egypt, I don't know if they go, the thobes and all of the, the stuff you wear in the desert. I cover up and they like, hey, these niggas, FBA, they know that I'm not there. They I don't know anything about, about that. That's Arab stuff. I don't right, know nothing right. about but they, they what don't, Arabs know. wear. They can tell. People can tell, and we can tell, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nah, this so, this FBA thing is just on the internet because when I um, off the um, inter- sir, we had a big ass um, FBA cultural rally with thousands of people showed up in Washington D.C. last year. That's not the internet, sir. This thing is real. We have politicians uh, acknowledging our uh, reparations. This thing is crazy. Um, hey, they're, acno- this- they're acknowledging, dude. This the FBA movement is real because FBAs. It's a lineage. We're talking about a lineage, and there's 40 million FBAs, sir. You understand? 
Hackmead, are you here, sir? Nigga, you keep muting me, and my name's not Hackmead. That's that or sounds sir. like a Bali name. Uh, sir, bro, sir. stop muting me. Can you define what a lineage is, please? Can, What's can, a li- you, can you stop letting your hyena knock the phone out your hand? Um, and you know what a <laughs> lineage is. Just stop it. You know what a damn lineage is. You know exactly what a lineage is. That's where your ancestry comes from. And I have a ancestry. <laughs> I have an ancestry of foundational black Americans, sir. That's what it is. Oh, that was a good one. Nah, the hyena. It reminds yes. me of the cheating pee comment. I remember, right. I remember that cheating <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yeah, at least you took it in stride. They they, they hated the cheetah pee got them fucked up. When I said they nah, smell like cheetah nah. pee, that really this, messed you're them. Yes, nah, indeed. you're a comedian. I'll give you this, but at the end of the day, bro, stop pushing this line about where FBA, we have better hairlines and we're more westernized than no, you No, no, are. no, 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 because yeah, no, that's our lineage. Just stop all that. No, 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 no. I'm not going to give up my lineage. That's a lineage of my proud ancestry over here who did phenomenal things over here. I'm not going to ignore them. They did phenomenal things. I'm going to acknowledge them and praise my foundation of black American ancestors, sir. You understand? That's how you do. You're supposed to praise your ancestors and you praise the people in your lineage. Who okay. Made do you think your ancestors thought of themselves as FBA and not African? They Answer knew that. They knew Answer that, that nigga. Yeah, they did. They knew they were foundation. No, they did. Nigga, no, they didn't. They were so they were closer to African than they were to America. Then that how is- come they didn't want to go when when Lincoln and people were trying to send black folks to Africa? How come most of my people didn't want to go? If that were the case, they tried that. We're gonna send all y'all to Africa, and most of my people were like, "Nah, we're not from there. We ain't going on no damn Africa. This is our home here." They tried that in the 1800s. They had most the of your people said, "Nah." When when did that? Right. Happen? You're they just making American, shit up, right? They had the American Colonization Society where they're going to try to round black people up and send them over to Africa, and most of us were over here like, "Hell no, we ain't from no Africa." They were like, "No." So yeah, miss me with that. And we we respect the African culture and the African bloodline, but. We're foundational Black Americans. We had an ethnogenesis, sir. We're a brand new group of people. And that's what it is. All I'm saying is, this is just some internet thing. Because when I... In because person, you Chris, want it to Chris be. Brown, no, no, you, you want it to be, but it's not. If it no, were just an internet... No, 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 it's not. If it were just an internet thing, you guys wouldn't be so triggered by it. You guys are triggered by it because a lot of y'all want to latch I'm on I'm triggered us. because it's some, what, it's some coon Bimbia. shit. That's why I'm no, triggered Bimbia, because it's some coon Bimbia. shit. Bimbia, Bimbia, you, you're triggered by it because it's real. The movement is real. It's a very real movement, sir. And you know it's just not an internet thing. This thing is real life. We out here in the grass, in the mud, in Nigga, the streets. This, this is some coon shit, and you know that. Sir. It's some coon, coon shit. Coon shit is giving hand jobs at the green card office. That's coon shit. That's what y'all be doing, all right? Us acknowledging our lineage and being proud of it, that's not coon stuff. And I think there's a bad, a, a bit of jealousy. We don't have there, green sir. cards in the UK, so uh, I don't I don't know what you're talking so about. Wherever you fled to, sir. We just know you fled from Zambia, unfortunately. You're not I over there in Zambia. It. Sir, you, you're in the UK now. You, And that's what it is. You're not proud of your homeland like we're proud of our ancestry. See, y'all don't Nigga, have... The majority of my family... No, 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 no are... Baba, 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 Baba you're you're ashamed that you had to flee. That's where that's coming from, sir. You don't have any Zambian icons to uphold and say, "Hey, look, this is these are our riders." You don't have it, so you don't want us to acknowledge. Yes, we our... do. What are you talking about? Who you are your riders? A... Who who are they? Name them. Let's. Who are the Zambian riders? Name them. I don't don't mute me. I'll say it. Kenneth I... Kaunda. Kaunda. You know Kaunda. We hold him up in high regard. You know that. Kenneth Kaunda. You heard of him? Um, never heard of him. Oh, of course you haven't, because you're from America. All you care about is America. You don't care you you guys don't really know much about geography outside of America. Do you know what I mean? Or history outside of America. Yeah, you do uh, a lot of black history here and there, but majority of the population don't really care about what's outside of America and Americans are known for that. What you know what I mean? Kenneth Kaunda. That's the international like a... airport in Lusaka. Lusaka. What's Lusaka? I, I, I can't well, well, right? was like the president. What's the international the airport? Ka- okay. Yeah, what, Kaunda what got us no, independence. No, 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 With Nkrumah. He met Malcolm. 
you know what I mean? Malcolm was there. He met he met, he met Martin, Martin Luther King. So he's getting props because he met some FBAs. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Nigga, nigga, he, nigga, he was a- He met some FBA. There you go. He gets props because he met some FBAs. I rest my case. All right? Because you have- Nigga, I'm talking to an FBA. You haven't said anything significant he did except meet some of our greats. All right. That's my point, sir. I just told you he got independent. Um, what are you talking okay. about? Um, sir, sir, he was one of the first um, presidents over there, right? Yeah, the first. Okay, and it was foundational black Americans helping y'all get your independence over there too. And uh, no, it was more as Kwame Nkrumah did more than you guys did. And and and, and it was foundational black Americans stomping for Kwame, Kwame Nkrumah. We were supporting him majorly in the black press over here. We were riding for Kwame Nkrumah's show. Um, so who are your riders? So tell me some of your who's the the Zambian Rosa Parks or the Zambia Ida B Wells? Who 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 are, who are some of your riders over there? Let us know. Tell us who the riders are. Can you stop muting me? Then I'll tell you. You keep muting me. Mm -hmm. BB Doo Doo, you just tell me. BB Doo Doo, let me know who your riders are. Just stop oh, there, there you go. You sound like a white supremacist doing the BB Doo Doo. Well. BB Doo Doo, just tell me who the people are. Just there tell you me. go. You're making fun of African accents. Do you BB know what Doo Doo, I mean? like, BB Doo Doo, just tell me who the riders are. That's not are. roasting. That's self hate. That's mm -hmm. not BB roasting. That's self hate. Okay. It's not self hate. I, I, nobody in my All right, I'll tell you. Do. Okay, we have Kalusha Walia. Kalusha Walia, who survived the plane crash from the from the nineties of our team that died. In That's the a ride because somebody didn't. <laughs> no, no, you're so stupid. No, you're so stupid. We we were playing. <laughs> so somebody survived a plane crash, and there it is. <laughs> Just like how you have Michael Jordan, we have Kalusha Walia. You're stupid as fuck. Because they didn't die in a plane crash. That's a hero. Okay. <laughs> Okay. No, he was the best player on the teams. So that's what okay. I'm saying. He's like an oh. icon, like Michael Jordan is okay. for you guys. You okay. understand? All right. Like Mike Tyson, oh. Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. He was, he was the Michael Jordan of what? Of what? Football. Soccer. You guys call it soccer. Football. Football. Okay. Yeah. Kalusha oh. Walia. And okay. then he went on to coach our team. All right? Okay. Good Lord. Christopher Katongo. Christopher Katongo. We won the African Cup of Nations in 2012. Football. There you go. There's another hero for us. You understand? Okay. Okay, so y'all yeah, have a Kenneth Cow Kenneth Kaunda. Yeah, but you you're not gonna know none of these names. We know this because we know that. Because they're not, not gonna just, know. Just somebody who can kick it. Just somebody who can play some ball. Okay. They, okay. They no. Can, they're not. Okay. So uh, that's Michael my Jordan. Team. Someone that just that, that so can Michael just Jordan play is a, he's a global great. So you know, it's nobody, Mike Tyson. Someone that that can just throw a punch. Right, he's a global great. Nobody knows none of those guys. Yeah, but you know, no, you nobody, guys are a no, no, nobody that's none of those people you named are known outside your village. Unfortunately, I hate to dish your lineage, but outside your village, nobody knows them. Um, these are just random people who just happen to play sports. Um, yeah, that's why you kind of have a bug in your ass about FBA because we are our icons are globally recognized. You mentioned village. Those you mentioned village, those are the yeah. type of things that white people use to diss Africans, and you're you're basically having the same talking sir, points. Sir, 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 Do you know sir, what I mean? Sir, stop it. Y'all have villages out there, sir. That's what it is. That's just reality. Nobody's dissing you. Y'all have little villages out there. You have tribes and goddamn villages. That's a reality. All right, and stop having a bug up your ass about FBA. I think there's jealousy there. You're motivated by a lot of jealousy. You I think you're jealous that we're a lot of foundational black Americans are iconically known internationally. And I think that kind of bothers you. You don't want us to acknowledge that. You, you want us to be on this Pan-African vibe so that you can kind of leech on to that. And you know, we don't, it's not our job to have people leech on to everything. We want you to be inspired. I'm not Haitian, but I'm inspired by the Haitian revolution. I respect it. But the thing is, you're, um, you're kind you're kind of wrong because we don't hate on you guys. We look up to you guys. You right, guys set the trends. You you guys set the trends as far as fashion, music. Do you know what I mean? Look at my picture, me and Chris Brown. I told Chris Brown, I was like, I love the fact that you're pro black. He told me, 
I can't be anything else, man. Chris Brown, he knows he's an African himself. He told me that himself when I met him. Do you know what I mean? So there is no sort of, oh, we're jealous of you guys and this and this. No, we acknowledge what you guys have done. Do you know what there I mean? You and go. We, thank you we, so much. We, All right, all right. Now this is getting, now it's getting boring. But thank you so much. But we're foundational Black Americans, and that's fine. Y'all, y'all try to take us away from our lineage. I mean, that's not going to happen. You can't define our lineage for us. You can't sit up and talk about how African we are, and ain't no African nations giving me shit. No, no, no. It don't work like that. You don't get to. I, I got to sit here and claim you, but I don't get nothing from the claiming. Ain't no African nations giving us a goddamn thing. Not even dual citizenship. African nations ain't giving us nothing. Not even a welcome home trip. Nothing in the folks going. Let me to be real. A lot of the folks going over there, they um, they're talking about all of the problems that they're having over there, man. Um, a lot of black people patriating over there. I won't say repatriating. They're just patriating over there, going over there, getting land from these tribal chiefs, and they have to lease the land, and then these tribal chiefs can snatch the shit back and there's all types of little janky land deals going on over there family it's a lot of janky little deals going on over there in africa when we get over there if we want to be very honest yeah so speaking of big back jungle animals from africa um we got t.s giselle in here we haven't had you on in a minute t.s giselle um Let's let's see what you have to say this afternoon. T.S. Giselle, hop on, please. If you'd like to get on. Got a lot of style. Got a lot of Hermes on me. (laughs) Um, Tariq, I see you're um, vacationing on an island. Um, T.S. Giselle also ended the year on an island. Um, I go to the Caribbean every, at the end of the year, every year. You know, that's what a, a... high vibrational woman does um right and you know what and you know what i did i did because i'm over here in the pacific and i did see you on an island it was skull island with king kong and y'all were kicking it with each other and i couldn't tell the difference was who was who but go ahead let's yes, not I'm, go ahead. i've actually i've never been to fiji but my honeymoon was actually in bora bora um i've also been to tahiti so i've actually been to the south pacific as well but that's not why i'm here um, wait, hold, honeymoon, wait, honeymoon with what? Honeymoon with what? Not who with what? What did you have a honeymoon with, T.S. Giselle? Um, what's a honeymoon? Isn't a honeymoon to celebrate a marriage? Um, it's, not, it's not a secret. Yeah. I'm not married anymore, um, but I was oh. married for five years. Um, but I don't talk about that. That's a part of my life that is I don't want to talk right. about. But that's not why I'm here, Tariq. Right. Um, you, you had a honey, you had a honey bun, not a honeymoon. I think you meant a honey That's bun, not why I'm good. here. Can I, ahead, can I say ahead. what I want to say? Well, first off, it's Happy New Let's Year. Go. Um, Happy Thank New Year to the FBA girls. Um, I cordially invite everyone. Um, me and Sir Major are hosting, um, an event. Um, and you guys are cordially Invited. Um, this is an LGBT event hosted by the world's sexiest albino, Sir Major. Um, I've posted no, no, the no, flyer no. in the Jumbotron. No. I would love no, don't do for everyone no, to you. join us. This is an no. LGBT event, as you can see in the flyer posted in the no. Jumbotron. You're cordially invited no. to celebrate no. the FBA Hold family on. with me no. and Sir Major. No. I got Sir Major here. Oh. I got Sir Major here. <laughs> Let me get Sir Major on here. I'm getting him um, on here to get his lick please back. See the, please see the flyer by the world's sexiest albino. You can text FBA1865 um, for your tickets as well. Um, me and Sir Major are co-hosting this party. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh, also, Tariq, you've been asking where Wani Potts has been, Spots, whatever her name yes. is. Um, Sir Major has been recorded in a Twitter space saying that he is responsible for Wani Spots not being on the app. Sir Major chose a Somali woman by the name of Iman E over the FBA family. 